Hi everybody, we're back and before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below and hit the notification bell and you'll know whenever I make these videos. So please subscribe. So now we're going to look at double T's in this video. But first I want to add some brackets here. I need some support because I'm going to do something a little later. So I'm going to go and use the at core toolbar. I had a video I made for these later uh, before, and if you like, I'll put them in the uh, a link below. So this is Unistrut. I'm going to go and grab, I'm going to look at Power Strut here. And then I'm going to look at, uh, I'm going to look at the framing here. I need a bracket here. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down here. I got lots of, I'm going to take this PS3282. And I need something right along this wall here. So I'm going to select this guy. Okay. Oh, I can drag. Oh, I'm going to drag and drop him here. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to place him right about here. I need a, a tray running through. That's some support. I got some tray with tray going through. So I'm going to select this guy and then I can go into my properties. And we're going to change this length. This toolbar has different lengths already selected for you to go with. And then I want to think about a 30 inch here. And then I'm going to go into my front, my elevation here. There's that bracket. And I'm going to just move him over slightly. I should have copied it. That one is copy one here. And we want to take these guys throughout. Uh, so I'm just grab these. Oh, I'm gonna grab one of these. So I just do this here. I just copy, select here, control copy here, and I'll just copy these guys over because I want. Um, uh oh, I'm doing. I'm sorry. Let's do that one more time. I want to copy these guys over. I say from this panel to this one. Okay, let's go back into our 3D view now. So good. So we're going to work with those later, but right now we want to go to our framing level and we want to do our double T's. So uh, we're going to use the Autodesk Double T. They work okay. So we're going to go into my Insert tab. I'm going to go Load Family. And here in Precast Concrete already, I'm going to go back a little bit. But we want to be in Precast Concrete. And we're going to go to our Double T. We're going to go Open here. So here we can do what we did before. Uh, we'll go into our Structure. And I'm going to go to beam system here. And then I'll do a rectangular. And I'm going to go minus one here just to give us a one inch offset. I'm going to go minus one. And then I'll go over my rectangular. And let's do this, do this one first. And we'll go from here all the way to here. And we'll select our span direction which is that way, and then we'll select here, let's say it's beam type, we'll go to our, okay, we already got to select precast double T, and we'll just select finish. And there are double T's. Let's look at this in 3D view. Okay, so we're all set there. We've got a couple of issues on the ends. So now what we do in this situation, we'll go back to our framing plan and we'll select the beam system. And then we'll remove the system, you know. Um, at, you know uh, actually, let's go and look this over again because it's good to keep the beam system intact and we need to do some things. So I think that's looking pretty good. They'll do a concrete copy in there. I'm going to go with that for now. I don't like long videos, as you know. So let's go ahead and 
fix this now. So back in our framing plan here, we select this beam system and let's remove it here. So now these are individual elements. So I'm going to go and I'm going to select this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select all instances in the entire project. And I'm going to just move this guy here. From this point to this point. And on the end here, I'll copy another one here. You can do this. Now they have I have made some that you can adjust the ends, but we're gonna just cut this. So from here to here, and I'm gonna select this double T. And I'm gonna go to cut by face. So I'll select it. You see the little green thing, and you select it, and I'm gonna just trim a little bit off the edge here, and I'll finish. Okay, so that's that side. And go back into our 3D view. So we have that side. So let's do the other side here. Back into our framing plan. And we'll tile these views this time. I'll do ZA. Okay. Zoom all. So there's our uh, double T's. Let's have a look. Looking pretty good, I think. Okay, so let's do the other side. Basically, what just the same exact thing we did. Um, we'll go uh, structure, name system. I want to offset this minus one inch or whatever that uh, this is the engineer will give you. Okay, minus. I got buggy fingers. This will be minus one. And it will go from that point. Nope. From that point, it'll be negative one. Okay, we go from here to here. Bam. And then we'll basically uh, set our span direction here, which is here. And we want to select it that way. And then we'll hit finish. So there's our double T's. Got a bit of an issue here. I'm not going to stress about that. And we'll go back into our 3D view. And there we have our double T's. So hey guys, uh, I'm going to leave it there. And again, this AtCore toolbar works pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to go grab it again here. I've got some work. I want to do some work on this wall. So we'll go back here, and I want to go and place me uh, some concrete inserts now because I need to hang a box here. So you got a, a load of uh, families here. I'm going to go to Unistrut, and I'm going to go to 1.5H channel. So uh, go download this. Not bad at all. I think I'm going to add this guy here, the spring connection. Well, no, it wouldn't go here, but there you go. Um, go to power strut again. They got almost everything in here you need. Uh, I'm going to do another bracket here and I'm going to rotate that around and that's just selecting the space key but anyway guys thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video please subscribe and everybody be safe until next time see you bye